how do you make your microphone not pick up the background noise using Windows 10? Well, this is the tutorial for you. Let's begin with some basics. The placement of your microphone. Here you can see my microphone on the top of my screen. It's far from anything vibrating and it stands steady without being too close to me. If your microphone is too close to your mouth you will get some popping sounds which you of course don't want to have. A microphone takes up a lot of sound from what it's standing on. My microphone stands on the screen that stands on the desk. I have an extraordinarily steady desk. This means that very little sound from the desk goes straight up into the microphone. They won't get amplified because the desk is so heavy. I also have my computer very far from the mic, which is important. If you use a laptop, you'll need to take it away, away from the laptop. You can see that my microphone has a little clip. It might be tempting to put this on your laptop, but if you do, it will take up a lot of sound from the keyboard of your laptop as well as the laptop's fans itself. Don't do that. If you have an unsteady desk or if you have like a laptop, you'll need to place your microphone on another surface. You can even clip it into a lamp stand or something like that. There are even similar dedicated microphone stands if you are serious. You can otherwise just hang it from somewhere or just put it on a shelf or something that's close to you but not on your desk or your laptop. Well, if that's all set, let's proceed to the Windows settings that might affect how much background noise you do pick up. Let's get Control Panel. You'd get Control Panel, you just click the Windows key and you search for Control Panel. Launch that nice Control Panel. Here we have something called Sound. Click on the Sound. There we have the beautiful sound tab. Amazing. Here we have recording devices and you can see we have different recording devices. You want to make sure that you have show disabled devices and show disconnected devices checked. Because sometimes a thing is disabled and maybe this is the microphone you actually want to use. That would be terrible. And if this is the microphone you want to use, click enable. If you run sure, enable them all and let's check. You can tap the microphone you want to use and you will see which one of these react the most. Mark the microphone you want to use and set it as default. Um, you can also go to, like this, you can click properties, you can click into listen, you can check this listen, click apply. And, and now, now you, you can, can basically, basically listen, listen to this. this. Amazing. Amazing. Here, here we, we have, have some sliders. sliders. Now, now this, this is the microphone we don't want to use, but you can see here we have a slider that we can increase and lower the sound. On this thing here, you can click this one and you see the sound disappears completely. You can click it again and it comes back. Now, what you might notice, which is pretty interesting, is that this first slider sets the sensitivity of your microphone. So if you have a lot of background noise, you might want to keep, keep this a little lower, like, I don't know, 26. Six. And then you boost the microphone instead. Now, as you can hear, we have a lot of less background noise, but still better volume. Um, so that was basically that thing. And of course, if I go to my real microphone here, as it has much better sound, it only has one slider here. So if I increase this, you can probably hear me a lot better now, but you also hear more of the background noise, as you hear. So then we might want to keep this a little bit lower down, but now you might think the volume is a little bit too low. For my microphone, I find it's best between 75 and 85. So I never keep this at 100, because then we get some distortion issues. And then we'll just click apply and OK. I hope this little video helped you with your microphone problems. And if it did, please leave a like. Do subscribe and I'll see you in future videos. You can also donate to the channel if you really want to help it. This is Jim Adesim, Total Learning Channel, signing out.